morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Arizona Daily Mix. I'm Angela Scott, filling in for Sandy Moss. So over the next 10 years, it is expected that the U.S. will need 3.5 million people to fill in manufacturing jobs. And it's predicted that 2 million of these jobs will go unfulfilled because of lack of skilled performance in the industry. Joining me today to talk about entry-level talent custom manufacturing positions is Nicole Borgstrom, president of Smithcraft Custom Architectural Signs. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Angela. So what a niche this is, talking about manufacturing and jobs. And a lot of people are looking to say, you know, I'm definitely interested in learning more about that because I want to go where the industry is growing. So we are a small custom manufacturing company with locations both in Phoenix and in Flagstaff. And I happen to think that manufacturing is where it's at. Yeah. Um, it's our business is this really interesting sort of mix of both manufacturing and construction, um, advertising, and the visual arts. And then also there's an overlay of both municipal and state and then federal regulation. So we, you know, we shift and we morph and we grow as any of those disciplines change or evolve. So you know, we have to be light on our feet, smart, um, to remain competitive in light of you know, global, uh, Global competition. Yeah. But so, so the umbrella is you're a sign company. You make signs, which yes. is a specific niche, right? But within it, it sounds like there are so many different opportunities. So, let's say someone is interested in learning more about this and wanting to go into manufacturing. What's the first step they would take? So, uh, we're very active in an organization called the Arizona Sign Association, and there's state sign associations all across the country, and also some regional associations like the Western States Association. So, they're a job board. Um, that they post, which a lot of sign companies use in order to attract talent. Mm -hmm. We um, we hire both entry level in the in the back of of our company, which is sort of the shop area, fabrication area, and then also in the front. In that we you know we have project managers, salespeople, accounting, administration. So um, for people that uh, have an interest in working with their hands and working with computers. Um, you know, we have a variety of, of positions, both in graphics, which is what we call sort of the interior sign sphere, mm -hmm. and then also in uh, install, which is more sort of heavy mechanical exterior signage. It seems so, you know, when I think about to ma manufacturing, I think of like the Industrial Revolution, when it was like that gritty work and people going and they're unfulfilled in the manufacturing company they're working for and it's like being on a line, right? And then right. low wages, it's changed so much. Millennials are, have a completely different perspective than maybe the baby boomers did in terms of manufacturing. Right. What are the millennials looking for? So what I find um, or have found is that millennials, they want to be part of an organization that's a little bit bigger than themselves and stands for something uh, a bit more compelling than just making a paycheck or making money. So that fits well with with us because we have, you know, we pride ourselves on you know, serving our customers and helping people navigate the waters of wayfinding and signage, which can be difficult. Mm -hmm. So we've had to take some time and really think about who we are, what's our vision, what's our long range strategy, and how can we help our employees acquire the skills that will be you know, valuable to us while, while they're working with us, but then also kind of tie into their own um, aspirations for what, you know, what their lives will be at Smithcraft and beyond. So when, when we can couple up uh, the talents and the skills that we need in a particular position with what a person you know, is, trying to, is, is trying to learn so that they can kind of go down the road, um, then that's when, <clears throat> you know, the learning on site, um, they really get involved in their position, have, have a lot of um, engagement as an employee. So that's, that's what we try to find. What about apprenticeships? Do you offer anything like that? You know, we, um, we do bring in people over the summer. I'm, I came to the to this, this sign company because of a, a family connection. And I find, we find that a lot of people who are interested in working in a, at a sign company, know someone else at a sign company. And so we try to use sort of summer breaks as an opportunity 
bring people in and get them initiated. Fantastic. And now we know you here, Nicole Borgstrom at Smithcraft. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for just exposing people to this industry because, like, you're right. So many of us don't know specifically about the sign industry. You're not a small mom and pop sign industry. You've done large, large scale signs, and it's just absolutely beautiful. We showed some footage earlier. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Arizona Daily Mix.